Lesson 1, Bacon I love putting bacon in everything I cook. It is a delicious food. Did you know you can even put it in chocolate? That's amazing! It tastes wonderful. They're my two favorite things. I heard bacon is actually bad for you, though. How can something so delicious be bad? It makes it harder to pump blood through your body. That sounds dangerous. I heard it can really shorten your life. I'd rather live a short life happily eating bacon. I think you need to work on your priorities. Lesson 2, Going Dutch Let's go get lunch. Where do you want to go? Let's try that new restaurant down the street. Only if you're treating. I think it's your turn to pay the bill. I paid it last time. I think you're wrong. It's an expensive restaurant. I really want to try it, though. If you want to go in, we'll pay separate bills. That sounds fine to me. Maybe we should do that more often. Lesson 3, Cake Tomorrow is my son's birthday. Are you going to bake him a cake? I was thinking about it. What kind were you considering? That's what I'm not sure about. Well, all kids love chocolate. That's true, but it has a lot of sugar. Why don't you make it plain vanilla? I don't think the kids will eat a plain cake. Then mix them and make chocolate swirl cake. That's an amazing idea. Another good idea is to let me lick the frosting bowl. Lesson 4. Sour cream What's that white stuff on your food? It's sour cream. Want to try some? I don't think so. It sounds gross. It's not really sour. Why is it called sour cream then? I think it's because they let the milk go sour to make it. You're eating sour milk? Yuck! Cheese is made in a similar way. I thought cheese was made from bacteria. Of course! Bacteria cause milk to go sour. Dairy products are so strange. Even so, I think they're delicious. Lesson 5. Apples Why are some apples green and others red? Won't the green ones turn red later? No, I think they will always stay green. Then they're just different kinds of apples. But what makes them different? Their genetics, I guess. What if, a long time ago, someone colored apples red? Then why are there green ones? Because the painter made a mistake. What do you think happened to that painter? The apple queen probably chopped off his head. I think you've seen Alice in Wonderland too many times. Lesson 6. Chopsticks what a delicious meal! Don't stick your chopsticks in rice like that. What's wrong with it? It's very bad manners. Oh, I didn't know that. You also shouldn't hold them in your mouth. Where should I put them then? Just lay them neatly across your plate. Chinese restaurants have a lot of rules. Are you kidding? Fancy restaurants have three forks. Never mind. I prefer two sticks to three forks. Definitely. So mind your manners, please. Lesson 7. Strawberry Banana 
This is the most amazing smoothie ever. What is so amazing about it? It's made with a fruit humans invented. How did humans invent a fruit? I think the process is called crossbreeding. That's amazing. What is the fruit called? The name is a little uncreative. Oh, tell it to me. It's a strawberry banana. You mean you got excited over a strawberry banana smoothie? Wasn't making two fruits into one a great idea? I think you misunderstood this whole situation. Lesson 8 Garlic. I'm making the food for the party tomorrow. I heard you are a fantastic cook. Thank you. I do my best. Do you have everything you need? I just need a few more items. Vegetables are so expensive. It's not so bad when they're not charged by the pound. What about when you need a lot of one kind? It's usually fine, except I always buy too much garlic. It's because the packages sell five heads instead of one. I can never use all the garlic, and it goes bad. Well, at least your house will be safe from vampires. Lesson 9. Fruit or Vegetable Tomatoes are so strange. What's so weird about them? My dad made a cake with them yesterday. That's a little unusual, I guess. Also, we eat them in salads all the time. Why is this so amazing? You don't usually use vegetables in desserts. Tomatoes are a fruit. That's like saying strawberries are not really berries. Actually, they're not. I feel like I've been lied to all my life. Well, at least you can use them both in salads. Lesson 10. Bowl noodles. Don't put your cup noodles in the microwave. Why not? They're better this way. The styrofoam will melt and get in your food. How am I supposed to heat it then? Heat the water and then pour it in. It seems like so much more work, though. It's worth it to be healthier. You're right. It takes longer, though. It'll take even longer if you keep complaining. Okay, okay. I'll heat the water now. Don't heat it for too long or you'll burn yourself. I think I'll just eat them raw as a snack. Lesson 11, Frozen Yogurt. Do you want to get some ice cream? Ice cream is really fattening. All desserts are fattening. Why don't we just eat some yogurt? I want something cooler. Haven't you ever heard of frozen yogurt? I don't think that's really yogurt. Is it ice cream then? I think it's healthier than ice cream. It tastes good, and that's all I care about. Well then, let's get some frozen yogurt. All right. I just don't know where to buy it. Lesson 12. Don't spoil your dinner. James, eat your candy after dinner, please. I just want to eat a little now. You'll spoil your dinner. My food won't rot if I eat a little candy. What do you mean? When food spoils, it goes bad. My food won't go bad. It won't rot, but it won't taste the same either. Why won't it taste the same? Well, if you eat the candy now, it will stay in your mouth. I guess so. Why is that bad? I don't think you want blueberry-flavored mashed potatoes. 
You're right. I don't. I'll eat the candy later. Lesson 13, Bubble Tea Why do they call this bubble tea? I think it's because of the balls on the bottom. They don't look like bubbles to me. I told my sister they were frog eggs. Did she believe you? Yes, she started crying. Why was she crying? She said I was mean for eating baby frogs. I agree with your sister. You're pretty mean. It was just a bit of fun. Well, did you know they're really fish eyes? You're definitely not funny. Lesson 14, Fish and Chips The fish and chips dish looks delicious. Do they let you choose the chips you want? Maybe they're just salted potato chips. The picture on the menu shows french fries. Maybe that's an alternate choice. I don't think so. No other chips are listed. Do you think maybe the french fries are the chips? Maybe. They're both made from potatoes. This is a very confusing menu. I agree. They must get a lot of complaints. Oh well, you can have the chips. I think you mean french fries. Lesson 15. Frozen or takeout. I am so hungry. Why don't you heat up a TV dinner? I'm tired of eating frozen food. It's not frozen once you heat it up. You know what I mean. Do you want to order a pizza? We had pizza two days ago. We may still have leftovers. Can we go get takeout? Only if you do the driving. On second thought, I'll heat up the TV dinners. You're the laziest person I know. Lesson 16. Very confusing. There are so many different kinds of berries. I can't tell some of them apart. Me neither. It is a difficult task. Raspberries and blackberries have the same shape. Just remember that raspberries are red. Then why is raspberry candy always colored blue? I think that's because cherry flavor is already red. Blueberries are even more confusing. Why? They're the blue ones. Well, when you mash them, they look purple. I don't think anyone eats mashed blueberries. It's easier to eat them all in a pie. Then they all taste good together. Lesson 17, Mystery Meat What is in this can? I don't know. It doesn't have a label. It looks like a corned beef can. Well then, open it and we'll cook it. It smells a little strange. Maybe it went bad. Why is the dog so excited? Dogs love meat, so he can probably smell it. Wait a minute. I think I know what this is. What do you think it is? It's the dog's canned dog food. We're so lucky he discovered that before we did. Lesson 18, Snacks I get so hungry during the day. That's not good. You should eat more. Maybe I'll start taking snacks to work. You can store them in the cafeteria fridge. I'm afraid others will eat them, though. You know, you might have a point. I could write my name on the containers. That's a good solution. What kinds of things should I take, though? You can wake up early and make lunch. 
You know, maybe it's not worth all the effort. You mean you don't want to give up your sleep? Lesson 19, Cotton Candy I wish I could touch the clouds. I bet they would be soft like cotton candy. Maybe they're made of cotton candy. That's impossible. Well, they're both fluffy. That's all they have in common. Both clouds and cotton candy dissolve with water. Clouds don't dissolve with water. Then why do they disappear after it rains? That's actually a good observation. I never want to try white cotton candy, though. Me neither. I imagine it would taste like mint. Lesson 20, Paper Gum Do you have any chewing gum? I don't have any, sorry. What are you chewing on, then? It's a piece of paper. Do you know how dirty paper is? It was a brand new sheet. Why are you chewing it, though? I forgot to buy gum, so I'm chewing paper. What if you get a paper cut on your tongue? I really don't think that will happen. I still say it's a bad idea. But at least I'm chewing something. Lesson 21, Imported Chocolates My grandma bought me some chocolates yesterday. That is an impressive looking box. She said they were imported chocolates. What does that mean? I don't know, but it sounds impressive. I think it means that they come from another country. Would people go through that much trouble for candy? Chocolate is considered a delicacy in some places. It's ironic that it's almost worthless here. Have you tried it yet? Yes, it's delicious. Well, that's imported chocolate for you.